sure how this happened, but I was doing a seminar. They brought some dogs in from the Little Guild shelter for me to work with. And I met Genevieve, that's her name now. I may change that. Right. So I looked at her and said, you're adorable. And a sweetie, she's five years old. I just adopted her. And I'm going to show you how to introduce a dog into your home that you've adopted. So they learn how to adjust with the least amount of problems and mistakes happening. Genevieve, you ready? Let's go. So I'm out in the parking lot of the Little Guild Animal Shelter. I just adopted Genevieve. Good girl. Hurry, hurry. Yes, good girl. Yes. So I'm going to start relationship right away. I have some treats. I, I want her to start responding to her name and paying attention to me. So all, I'm not going to tell her to do anything. With shelter dogs, you can't know if they've been worked with or not. So I'm just going to start getting attention, eye contact, and I'm going to do that by using her name and praising her. Genevieve, good girl. Yes. Oh, good girl. Yes. Good. I don't have a relationship with her at this point. Yes, good girl. Genevieve, good girl. Yes, what a good girl. And then reward. As I do this, she's going to start learning to come to me and to trust me. Again, I'm not using any commands. Genevieve, good girl. Yes, what a good girl. The other thing with her sitting, it prevents her from jumping. So I can walk around. Yes. Good girl. Go. Oh, aren't we smart? Ready? Sit. Sit high. Good girl. Good. Yay, Genevieve. Good girl. And what I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to use Genevieve, good girl, pet her, and then give her the treat. I'm not going to constantly just throw food at her. Genevieve, good girl. Good. Yes. Good girl. Yes. Excellent. Who is the cutest little muffin, huh? Who is the cutest little muffin? Who? Who's the cutest little muffin? Are you good? Yes. Shall we? Wanna go home? I think so. from a shelter. She's five years old. They don't have any background on her. They found her on the streets. So I'm bringing her into my home. So the way I introduce a dog from a shelter or a new dog into a new home is I'll keep them on the lead for the first three days to a week. It prevents any mistakes from happening. When I first went to the shelter after I brought her out, I made sure she had a chance to believe herself. In the car, she was terrific. When I got back to my home, <clears throat> I then took her for a long walk to make sure that she was empty, that she didn't have to go again. This is really stressful for a dog. So the more you start guiding them and starting communication with them, the easier it is for the dog to adjust. And I'm not going to have a lot of people come over going, oh, I got a new dog, come over and see her. I'm going to wait three days, a week, right, until she really adjusts and she's comfortable and I have some type of communication going with her. And again, I'm going to be working on that communication because I want eye contact. I'm not going to make any demands. I'm assuming she knows nothing. Any behavior she gives me, like sitting, is a plus. But I can't assume that she knows. So if you don't give commands but teach them, it goes much, much more quickly. One thing to remember, and this is important, you don't know who the dog is at least two weeks to 30 days that you have it in the house. Now, if they've had bad habits, they'll start to surface. But if you start training right away and get that communication going, those habits will not reappear. So it's really an opportunity to teach the dog the behaviors you want. Now she's sitting here nicely. Oh, who is the best dog? Oh, is that the spot? Is it? Good. So I'm going to give her a lot of attention. When I praise her, I'm going to smile. When I'm praising her, it makes a huge difference. A lot of people just use words going, good dog. I'm going to look at her and go, Genevieve, good girl, yes, good. Oh, you are so good, yes. I want eye contact, yes, good girl, before I give her the treat. Go oh, excellent, good girl. Oh, let's gack that up. Mmm, yes. Well, what do we do now?
I'm going to help her. I'll put the treat in front of her nose, push it back, and then reward her for sitting. Because I'm going to use this later on. I don't mind my dogs on the furniture, but they have to be invited. They just can't hop up. So what I'm doing is getting her to sit and to hold it here. The next thing I'll do in the next week or so is teach her hup. When she hears that, she's allowed up. If she doesn't hear it, she isn't. I travel with my dogs. I go to my friend's home. They like my dogs because they're not all over their furniture and they actually have manners and they're well behaved. That comes through training and having fun with your dog and really getting that relationship. Huh, Genevieve, are you good? Yeah, are you good? Yes, what do we do now? What? What? <laughs> what a face! Sit. Yay, Jen, you are so smart. What a good girl. I'm going to pet, and then I'll give her the treat. So, if you're adopting a dog, keep it on lead for the first week or so. All right, start teaching as soon as you get the dog. And the first thing you want to do is start using the dog's name, praising the dog so the dog looks to give you attention. All right, is that good? You ready? Genevieve, good girl. And then reward. All right, and now what I'm going to do is pet. Genevieve, good girl. Yes, good. You are so good. Yes, you are. What a good puppy. And then reward. So you can start with the food reward initially, but then starting petting, light collar grab, and then reward. Remember, the relationship is with you, how it's in your hand.